Hello, stranger. Wow, this game is really good despite being released 18 years ago. Well, I'm getting old, mate. Wait, it got remade? Wow, this is awesome. I love it. If only other games received the same treatment. What games, you ask? Stay with me, because we are going to talk about them. Roll the intro. Remember that if you like the video, leave a like, a comment and subscribe to my channel because it would help me a lot. Having said that, let's get back to the video. Hello everyone, Juana here. Video game remakes. When you get an already good idea that was well executed years ago and put a nice coat of paint on it and add new mechanics that improve an already good experience. There are a lot of games that definitely got what they deserved, but some of them were either left untouched and aged like milk or simply could receive some love and care to accommodate to today's market. Here I picked some games that would definitely benefit from a makeover process. Oh, tank controls, you were never loved and never will. Putting these two games in a single spot seems like cheating and putting them in the same basket. And yeah, it is. But there's a good reason for that. You see, these games have very interesting concepts for the franchise. One being Resident Evil but with dinosaurs and the other one being Resident Evil but with telekinesis. Right, these two unfortunately get the description of the Resident Evil game with this new feature and will definitely benefit from a complete remake. New voice acting, new gameplay mechanics, better graphics and more. After all, look at what happened to Resident Evil 2, going from tank control nightmare to an intriguing and atmospheric third-person shooter while keeping intact the essence of the original. I would love to see an atmospheric horror game with dinosaurs for a remake in Dino Crisis or try to apply some of the concepts from Control to Galerians. Who knows? Okay, hear me out. I know that for a lot of people, Final Fantasy VIII is the black sheep of the PS1 games of the franchise. I know that it got a remaster a few years ago and I know that Square Enix is focusing on the Final Fantasy VII Remake as a trilogy and are currently working on a remake of Final Fantasy IX. But what about VIII? Well, in the case of Final Fantasy VIII, I think that it tried to do too many things at once and succeeded very little. The reason for that is that it had a very complicated storyline, not much character development for many of its characters and an unfairly treated protagonist that was labelled as lame, gloom or a prick. If you paid attention to the story, you would notice that this was the idea, but it was not properly translated into the game. I believe that a proper remake of Final Fantasy VIII would definitely fix some of the issues of the original game and explore things that were never really answered. Special summons, erasing your memory. Really? Come on guys, you made the plot of Dark almost 20 years before it was filmed. I know you can do better. Since Square Enix is already working on Final Fantasy VII Remake, I can still have faith that this one can receive some love as well. Also, Squall is for me one of the most misunderstood protagonists of the franchise and deserves a better treatment by its audience. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Okay, the first game was not good, I'm going to say that, but Soul Reaver was amazing. Legacy of Kane is one of those forgotten franchises that had the potential of being a leader in the video game market, but simply did not know what to do or where to go. It didn't help the fact that Castlevania was already a dark gloomy franchise doing its job much better than them, but I can see potential for this game. You see, some interesting mechanics like shifting from the normal world and the spirit world are concepts that were sort of explored in other games from this generation. Now, do that with the plot and dark tone of this IP and you've got a possible reincarnation of a fallen soldier willing to tackle into the console war. Why am I being so dramatic when writing the script of this? With games like Dark Souls and Dead Stranding proving that horror can come in different shapes and sizes, I firmly believe that Legacy of Kane and Soul Reaver would be more than fitting for a remake. Ok, I know that Golden Axe received a remake already in 2008 called Golden Axe Beast Raider and it sucked. 
you got the mid-2000s influence of edginess and cool story that ruined the essence of the original. And I would agree with you if you thought, but hey, the original one is good enough, why do you need a remake? Except for one thing. After watching the Ninja Turtles and Battletoads remakes working so flawlessly and allowing a new audience to enjoy them made me think on how much Golden Axe deserves justice. So much so that there was even a prototype called Golden Axe which was praised by many showing everyone that there is potential in this franchise as well. Don't recreate the wheel, just improve it. Easy as that. Based on the post-apocalyptic science fiction short story by American writer Harlan Ellison, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, is a point-and-click horror adventure game released in 1995 by Cyber Dreams and the Dreamers Guild. The plot is rather complex and dark, involving political issues between Russia, USA and China, hence the reason why I don't see it possible to have a remake of this game. But more than focusing on the conflict specifically, the story focuses on an American supercomputer that, due to its immense hatred for humanity, stemming from the logistical limits set onto him by programmers, AM uses its abilities to kill off the population of the world. This is where it gets complicated, so I'll try to summarize it as good as I can. So here it goes. The main plot takes place 109 years after this conflict and the torture and humiliation of humanity and the five victims of the story stand before a pillar etched with a burning message of hate. AM tells them that he has a new game for them to play. AM has devised a quest for each of the five, an adventure of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Each character is subjected to a personalized psychodrama designed by AM to play into their greatest fears and personal failings and occupied by a host of different characters. Ok, enough plot. If I said anything else, I would be ruining the experience for those that don't know what I'm talking about, but imagine this in the style of Until Dawn. Instead of just getting the standard deaths of the original, maybe there's more actions that could kill your characters. Also, I may be crossing the line here, but what if they added the deleted scenes of the original game? It may not be feasible because it's truly disturbing, but that's the kind of content for what this idea definitely deserves to receive a remake. Alright, if you like Bloodborne or any psychological horror game, you would agree with me if I said that this game definitely deserves to be remade. I mean, if anything is scarier than London nowadays, is London with abnormal creatures. No, not politicians, these creatures. The plot may not be the most Oscar-worthy writing of the world, but it sure presents some interesting ideas to be explored in a game, and it rightfully deserves to be presented as one. The original game has not aged gracefully, unfortunately. Stiff controls, polygon models, only playable in PS1 and loading times. The sound design is amazing and still hold up to this day, so I know for certain that a remake would prove to be a worthy investment. So if any studio is willing to do so, please make sure to give justice to the vision of Callisto Entertainment guys. They deserve it. Ok, I'm self-inserting myself here a little bit because I've played a lot of Unreal Tournament. It is one of the most engaging multiplayer games ever made with crazy weapons, fast-paced gameplay and overall competitive fanbase. So it surprises me to see that this game has been discontinued given its popularity and especially since its developer, Epic Games, is doing better than ever nowadays thanks to the popularity of its franchises and its engine. Imagine a modern Unreal Tournament game where graphics and mechanics are updated, servers meet modern standards and why not allow independent developers create customized maps as part of the community? After all, you've got the engine already. Unreal Tournament is definitely a victim of the case of Oh, that game, I remember that, I used to love it, but never getting the proper makeover it rightfully deserves. We got John Marston and then we got Arthur Morgan, but before them there was Nate Harlow in Red Dead Revolver in 2004, a game published by Rockstar San Diego. 
it is clear to say that Rockstar did not show any talent when it comes to remaking games. And it truly is a shame. Because had they put any effort in their remade games, you could only hope to get a remake of this gem. You see, I know that a lot of people would prefer to have GTA 6 or Bully 2 as the next entry from Rockstar, but since Red Dead Revolver is a loosely based spiritual connection to Red Dead Redemption, it feels odd to see a game so outdated the way it is, especially when the story is actually good. Rockstar has shown a great talent when developing new games, especially when paying attention to details. Just look at Red Dead Redemption 2 where players keep discovering new things even to this day. So why not exploring the world from a perspective of another cowboy? What if they actually crossed paths at some points of the main games? After all, you already have the product to work with and a potential new entry for modern gamers. What are you waiting for, Rockstar? If you're not going to, at least give us Bully 2, it's been 17 years now. And there you have it, some of the games I think deserve a remake. Do you have any in mind? Please let me know in the comments below because I would love to see your opinion on the matter. This has been Juano and thank you for watching. See you on the next video. Now. A couple of things you may not know about me. Number one, I'm a gamer. Number two, I'm having a heat stroke in this suit. <laughs>